Did you notice this? <laughs> okay, so what, so the learning target is, what we are learning is, what is horizontal, uh, vertical, horizontal stretch and shrink. So we will see what is the meaning of this. And I'm taking one example of, last time we have seen vertical stretch and shrink, right? Remember this? So today is about, so the one that we learned last time was, if there was a original function, the new one was, the new one is just multiplying k to the old one. So the outputs were changed. So here, if you remember, the output changes. The input stays the same. If you remember, look what there, blue and the red and the green. If you, if you keep a vertical line, which the input is the same. Now in this case, nice example and Camilla. Slow and loud. Can you read this? Below graph of J is distance to me. Me in miles walk from home and the returns was in two miles per home. Two miles per hour. Per hour? Yeah. And uh, then one sketch graph of A uh, are in a distance if she walks four miles per hour. Okay. Uh, the, the, the sign sh actually the, the question is it has the question right on your paper I put it like shortcut okay uh, the English words may be not correct there but you have the whole paper with you yes or no okay so this is about instead of taking FT what did I take I took Jacob's name did you say Jacob J so Jacob Jacob tells mom I'm going for a walk okay mom says okay you go for a walk but make sure you go two miles and come back do you get what I'm saying? So you go to Myers, but don't cross that too much. Come back. So he goes with the constant speed. It's like the same, you know, without accelerating. Kind of. He's going with the constant speed with two miles every hour. By looking at the graph there, come here. You see here, the red graph is, is the trail, is the trail of, of, of distance of Jacob. Every time Jacob is going on, he's, he's moved out from the house. This is the house. So it begins here. And uh, Jesus, you want to say something here? Anything comes in your mind before I show? No? What do you think is this point then? Um, the heights. It's the heights, but uh, in the relevance to Jacob, where is Jacob? Tell me, where is Jacob? When I say this point, what does this point stand for? What is this point? Come on. One. It's one, right? It's like one hour. So that means, because of the information, one hour he travels how many miles? Two miles? Two. So one hour he travels two miles. Means one is two. So this means Jacob, J of one is two. Can you write this on top of it? So just to get an idea, that means if I'm here, let's say, this is, this. so this is zero, I'll put 0 0.5, then one, 1.5, and two. <coughs> so what does zero means? Where is Mr. Jacob? Guillermo, where is Jacob when, it is zero, when time is zero? He's also at zero. He's also at zero means what? Like zero, zero. What does that mean? And he's not traveling. Huh? He hasn't traveled. He hasn't traveled yet. He's at home. So the distance is zero. Can you write down there? So let's make sense out of it. Okay. So this part we got, right? One is two. So that's one is two. What about 0 0.5? Somebody, Camilla, or let's see, Juliana, can you help me with 0 0.5? Half, half hour, where, how much? How, like, how far is Jacob from home after half an hour? Hmm? Common sense, right? <coughs> because you know that one hour, two miles, one hour, right? So this means, I just want to make sense here. This actually means it is two miles for every one hour, right? It also means uh, every half an hour, if I write half an hour, you know, this will be one mile. Agree? Yes or no? Yes. Common sense, right? Mm -hmm. So that means if half is 0 0.5, can I write one here? So first of all, 
I'm just creating this to help us understand uh, what is that your learning target is. Then 1.5, where is 1.5 at this? Yeah, this one is two, 1.5 this one, right? This is 1.5, and this is, this is half, right? 0 0.5. So 1.5, he's, he's traveling back. Be careful. He, until here is where Jacob is, uh, is, uh, is far distant, that's two miles. But mom said, hey, don't go beyond two miles, come back. So this means going back. So that's like distance. This will be the same C part. This part will be, what is this part? 1.5 is how much? One mile? One mile. So that, that's like one mile. So, one. so this is like one mile. This point is kind of uh, half. Uh, 0 0.5 is one. And two, what about two? After two, two hours, where is he? Back home? He's back home, right? Zero. So let's write the 1.5 is 1, and this is 0. So far, so understood. 100% you understood, right? So make sure we get that part. J of 1 is 2. My, my, the main focus point for me is this one, J of 1. That's what I want to use. Even though we have a lot of other points, but that's the one I'm going to take. Where does that point? And I'm going to take this point also. Where does this point go also? Now, Ari, who is that? Ariana is like, oh, Mr. Jacob is going for a walk. He wants to be fit. Let me also go walk. Let me try to compete with Mr. Jacob. Got it? So Ariana thinks she can do better than you. So she says, I will walk faster. So she thinks, okay, now the question is sketch graph of Ariana. A stands for Ariana's distance. Okay, so AT stands for what is the distance walked by Ariana after a certain time, P equals whatever it is, so many million hours. So Ariana, if she walks four miles, so here I'm gonna write changes to four miles per one hour, agree? Got it? So let's put it right here. This is Ariana, A of T, can you write? So, so what are we supposed to do is, can we sketch this graph? How do we do this? How do I fill this up? In the beginning, where is Ariana? In the deep, what should be this number at least? Let's fill the easy ones, okay? Sometimes they are difficult. So zero is zero, right? So she start, Ariana start from home. Now four miles is uh, one hour. That means uh, every half an hour, how much? So if it is half, what? So what will be half of four? Two. Two miles. Are you with me? That's the only one with me. So that means Half an hour, that means now I have to sketch. I'm going to use green color. Okay. So in 0 0.5, what, where is she? One, correct? Yes. <laughs> in, one, in one hour, how much? So what will be one there? So in one hour, how much is? What's that? What is point five is two? Point five is two. Ah, yeah. Zero point, oh, I made a mistake there, yeah. So this is zero point five is two. Ah, she's there, right there. Thank you so much. So when it is 0 0.5, she's right here. Can you see this point? Nobody say yes or no? Yes. So this is the main point of Ariana. In half an hour, she already walked two miles. She goes back. So now come, use that color. If you have a nice color pencil, you do that. 
this is what I'm gonna do. The red is Jacob, and now I'm gonna use the the green. Yeah, let me use this. It's so beautiful. This is so I understand. And it goes back in one hour. See, so two hours goes uh, two uh, two miles and two miles. Total is four miles. I don't want this point. I'm not focusing. There will be too much of things going on. I don't want. Let me take this off. For me, only that point is the focus point. This is my focus point. <laughs> See the sketch? Okay, sure. Everybody, I know there are half the, many of you are listening, thank you, I appreciate that. And some of you are already half task. And I respect that also. So good thing is that at least we know this. What is the main point right here is, so this is 0 0.5, so this one. Can you write down on your paper? 0 0.5 is, is 2, correct? What that means is Ariana's distance in 0 0.5 hour, that's like half hour, is 2 miles. Agree with this? You guys agree with this? Yes. And now look at this is a beautiful thing going over there. So 0 0.5 is 1 and 1 back to 0. Do you agree? 1 is 0? Yes. In 1 hour, she walks 2 miles and comes 2 miles. 2, 2 is 4. Done. Mm -hmm. Within one hour, the whole journey is over. But Jacob took two hours. One hour to go away from the house and then come back two hours to come back from home. Now the next is, I'm not interested in the bottom part yet, so don't worry, we are done. Till here, that's it, you're done. So this, this point is, Dylan, can you help me quickly, what, I, what are the coordinates here? One and zero. Can everybody write this? One and zero. Okay. Now that we know, I'm gonna see the relation between red. Red is Jacob. The blue, the green is Ariana. Okay. I'm using the names because I want you to connect this problem in your life, kind of thing. Like our classrooms, our students. Okay. So watch this. Let me start with this part, zero point. A, in half an hour, so the distance traveled by Ariana in half an hour is same as, oh, so this is Ariana, right? So distance traveled by Ariana, 0 0.5 is 2, agree? But that too, that distance was traveled by Jacob in, in how many hours? One. One. One is the table, but if you get confused with the table, just look at this graph. Yeah. And you can see they have the same height. Do you see the same height? Nobody saying yes. Yes. Do you see the same, the two, this is two, the output? This is two miles. Both have two miles? So that means Ariana's uh, distance travel, that is two miles, was in half an hour, but Jacob did it in how many hours? One hour, right? So let's write that. So Ariana is same as Jacob's, but Jacob did it in how many hours? Okay. So A of 0 0.5 is one, which is now I want to write something I'm gonna change here. I want to get, bring back this 0 0.5. So my question is, can I write zero? What what multiplies what multiplies one? This uh, what multiplies zero point five to get this one? Can you tell me? What multiplies to zero point five? to give this one. So your answer is one here, one hour. And I, I have a reason, now you may be surprised, why am I writing that 0 0.5? Okay, what so anybody like to just try, somebody try? What multiplies 0 0.5 to give you this, this, this one?
So what do you say? Would it be two? Correct. How did you get that two? Zero plus five times. So you are thinking common sense. But sometimes I wanted to also get it. In. I asked. So the question was, what multiplies to zero point five to give one, right? So because you don't know, I say okay, divide by zero point five both sides, and you can say this goes away, and you get uh, ten over five, which is two, correct? So that's the work, but but you can use your common sense, and it is two, right? So let's put this as so this is two times. Can you write down two there? Yes or no? Then second, okay, this is one one part. Let's do one other one. Ariana's distance in one one hour. Let's write one hour, and I'm going to use one year equals. So Ariana is back home in one hour, but then uh, Jacob was back home when, in how many hours? Two. So I'm going to write that too. Can you write this J as something times what multiplies to give two? I want you to write two numbers here. So the answer is two here. Think of the green color that I, what's this green color? 0 0.5, 0 So what multiplies to 0. Point, now the one, the number that I use is 1, so I'm putting 1 here. What multiplies to 1 to give you back to this 2? What multiplies to give to what should I write here? What multiplies to 1 to give you 2? Two? 2, right? Okay. Do you see something happening now? Watch this. If this is 0 0.5, it is 2 times 0 0.5. See? If it is 1, it is 2 times. So I want you to focus on that the 2 there. So basically what you learn here is Ariana. So we want to get a relationship that is Ariana's. If it was t, if it was t, if this is a t, that equals now Jacob, Jacob. But what should I write here? Jacob Somebody please help me. Look at that that uh, that kind of a rule there. It's like a you, you see the trend, you see some trend here. Ariana's distance travel in certain time, at whatever the time, is same as Jacob. Do you think of that? Because Ariana is going faster, right? Jacob does it late, so what should I write here? What color did I use here? Is it not two? Can you say two? And times what? Do you see this? Yes or no? Yes. Can you see that? So instead of one, sorry, I made a mistake. What should I write here? No, no, what is the time here? Am I using a number or am I using a variable? Got it? Okay, so what we learned is this one. Put this in the box. That's the main relationship. That means if a student if a student walks faster, see how the how those two equations relate is the input, this is the input. This is the input for Ariana's input. Then if you want to compare with the Jacob, that has to be two T Is that okay? 
Because it is going faster, so because it is going faster, you can say this is 2 here. So now, point I'm making is, uh, did you guys get this? What I'm doing? Okay. Because tomorrow is a practice problem where you need to understand what is this that. So we write it like this now. That is k. So we call this as k. Right now, k is that number which multiplies. K is two. K is two. But then there is something called scale factor. That, now this is where the confusion is. This is two is fine, but there is something called scale factor. And what is scale factor? Is is the flip of that, that is 1 over k. So the scale factor is, is let's call it as c, and it is always 1 over k. So in this case, k is 2, and you get 1 over 2. This is c. c is half. Got it? So last class we have seen if, if the frac if the scale factor or the fraction you compress, you can clearly see this graph. The red graph shifted is 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 compressed. Watch this is compressed. This is called compressed, moving to the left. So moving towards the y. So, so that's why you say, hey, this graph is compressed towards the y by scale factor of, so we, we can, we, so the conclusion part is, I don't have enough room to write there, so what I want to write is, so Ariana's graph is a, AD is a graph or is a transpose, let's use that in nice English, English word, transpose graph of J curve graph, horizontally struck, now I'm coming to that, horizontally uh, compressed, instead of work, the word com compressed, you can use shrink, So the, so the red graph is Jacob's graph, but then it is got compressed. And you can see it is really compressed, right? It's become skinny. So the red was like big, but now it has become skinny, right? Nobody saying yes? Yeah. Oh my Jesus. Good Friday, Easter is over. Now, <laughs> so it's compressed by a scale factor. So by a scale factor, and that scale factor, I'm going to use C is C is 1 over K, and you got the answer is half, is it? Now this is where the confusion, uh, many students get confused. What is this C? Why there is a C? Why there is 1 over K? There's too much of complication. Just the, now. The next is you're going to remember just direct formula. It's kind of a formula is what that basically means if whatever the scale factor this C, this half, you see this half, this one here, right here, this one, how do you get 0 0.5 is you just multiply by the scale factor, half. So you just half of one is 0 0.5. No matter what it is, if it is two, half of two is one. So each time the input becomes half. See what is the meaning of that? Like how that output was, you just multiply by three or you know, multiply by half. Same thing here, but in this case the input, the input changes, not the output. The output stays the same. Look at this, two, two stays the same, but two, two stays the same, but the output becomes, one becomes 0 0.5. You see, one became 0 0.5, okay. Now, this was about, if 
this is about Ariana's sister. Now, I don't want to uh, make a slight change here. Look at the second question. Can you write down? Sketch. Everybody write sketch. So this question is not there. You can write on top of the page. Sketch graph of of star. Your first name is your name. Star, right? So let's take star now. Star thinks graph of star S T. SP. Who walks slowly, maybe she, instead of two miles per hour, she said, No, I want only walk, walk one mile per hour. Can you tell me how the sketch now will look like? And extend this here. So this is now ST. Star is walking, but her speed is one mile per hour. So start from zero. Zero is zero, right? <coughs> this time. This time, I'm going to take off, the, the green is done, right? So I'll take, just to, uh, not to have too much on my graph, I'll take this off, this is done, so I don't want this now. And now I need to uh, take this off so that I have enough room for me. How does the graph sketch will look now? Anyone? I could not take off eyes from me. Because I was. This is common to me. I know many of you are already shutting your eyes here, but still I wanted to show this. Can somebody tell me how the graph sketch will look down? Star is walking one mile every hour. So that means 0 0.5, how, how far is she? 1.5. Huh? 1.5? How? Who said that? Agree? Agree? Can you just make him believe that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Huh? So, see, see, watch this. Now, what is the meaning of, I think I messed up here. It is like one mile for everyone, one hour. And my question was, half an hour? Oh, I didn't mean to say half an hour. Yeah, so it's like common sense, but I'm just trying to, so if it is half an hour, she'll be doing, 0.5, right? Nobody saying yes. Yes. In one, what about one? one. What about the 1.5? 1. 1. 5. Two? Two. Make sense? So that means, uh, <clears throat> watch this. From here, like, so she is, uh, after two hours, she travels here. Can you see that point? Nobody saying yes? Yes. yes. Now watch this. See? So this is like stretching kind of. Now slowly understand what is the meaning of the previous one was because uh, Ariana was walking faster, so it, it became like uh, compressed or shrink. But now Star is walking slow compared to Jacob. So you see how the graph looks like? And then, I don't have much hope. I don't write everything. What do you think? When do you think she's at home, Star? When will she be back home? 
<laughs> no, no, she is walking back. This is, if she continuously walks, then, then you never back, right? So because she's walking back, she has to be back in four hours, correct? So this is, nobody saying yes, correct? Yes. yes. See her, how beautiful this is? And I, I want to end this, hold on a second, I'm almost there. I really wanted this thing to understand in real life how these things are connected, okay? Watch this. This point, what is this point? Quickly tell me. Two. I mean, two. 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 And what is the? So two. I'll put a, the, the the two, and then it is the two, correct? Two. Yeah. So for me, this two is important. The first one. I'm more concerned about this one, and yeah, this is the thing. These two are important for me, correct? So I'm gonna take off. Change this. You guys were great. I really want you to. Next three minutes, I want to finish. Watch this. So the, what we do next is because this is star S T, right? Try S T. Okay. S of two. Let's write that. S. Uh, this is. I should have written here, but I'm writing it right here. Okay. So S of. Let's see. Star in two okay. hours. The distance traveled by. This is the same as Jacob. Agree? Yeah. So let me put Jacob as. Hi. Let's put that Jacob as J. But <coughs> Jacob does it in one hour, right? Can you see it, Jacob? Jacob does it what? One hour, so that's one. My, so my question is, what should we multiply here? J, what multiplies to two? What multiplies to two to get one? Huh? What? What multiplies to two? to get this one. 0.5. 0 0.5, agree? So I'll use that as a red color. And instead of 0 0.5, I know, can we write it as half? And then there is a reason. Okay, I'll make it like a half. So this is half. Do you guys agree? And the last part, one more we'll do. What about, this is four zero, right? This is four zero, and this is two zero. So S of four, this is S of 4 is 0. So S of 4 equals, so star is back home after 4 hours. But Jacob was back in 2 hours, right? So which is same as J of 2. Do you agree? Yes or no? Yes. So this is same as. So what should I multiply to 4? What should I multiply to get four? What should, sorry, I'm saying, I'm messing up. What multiplies four to get two? Nobody's saying. What multiplies four to get two? What multiplies four to get two? Agree? Nobody's saying yes. And then finally, what this means is, if I write S of T, the, 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 the letter, the, then that becomes J of, so this is half, half of what? Of, what is the green color now? No, but right now I'm using a variable T. See, this is where students get confused when the letters are there. But I try to use number to mix the color coding to say, wow, this is such a beautiful equation. So you say S to equals, this is that K. So let's write this. This is K. This is K. So the K, so K is half. Okay. So what is the, so here ST is equal to, uh, half of t, which k is half, but the scale factor, right? So the scale factor is c, and that is 1 over k, and c is, can somebody tell me what is 1 over k? So 1, it's, it, this is a reciprocal, right? So what I do here? Flip it, so what is the split means? So it is like 2 over 1, right? 
So if you want to write all the steps, it is one over k is half. And if you keep change flip, you get two. So c equals two. That's the scale factor. What does that basically mean? There is a horizontal stretch. Look at this graph. This point was here. Now this point shifted to the right. So when it is shifted to the right, and that's the conclusion is, and this is the last conclusion, and then we are done. So I'm writing, ST is a transpose graph of, transpose graph of J curve, JT, uh, horizontally, so what's happening, you can see that it is moving to the right, horizontally stretched, can you see the word? Yeah. Expanded, another word they use also is expanded, horizontally expanded, by a scale factor, what is the scale factor here? The two, so the scale factor is two, it means every x coordinate is multiplied by two. What is two times, what is two times one? Two times one is two, see? What is two times, I think I missed that, that point, do you remember? Two times, two times two is how much? Four. See that part? So the input, the new input you get by multiplying that. Are you guys are you guys with me, some of you? Yes. Yeah. Please, please uh, wait and hold on. So the conclusion is, is like this, that there is a horizontal shrink, there is a horizontal stretch. Shrink is when it is a fraction that we see previous one, but right now, this number is greater than one, it's stretch. That's all I wanted to show you. Uh, yes. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Stop.